Hello, my name is Arit Golowinski and I'm the product manager for the release stage at GitLab. Today I want to talk a little bit about review apps and how you can configure them after you already have a working project. So once we've configured a basic staging and production environment as part of continuous delivery, it would be nice to review the changes on an actual system before going to staging. This is called a dynamic environment or what we call review apps in GitLab. This creates an environment per merge request. This is valuable not only for developers, but also QA, product owners, product designers, anyone that is interested in seeing what the new feature looks like. And you can just simply send a link and ask for feedback. In this demo, I will show you how to add a review app after the project is already configured. For this simple example, I'm using surge.sh and Gatsby. That is an easy way to get a static website up and running. So if we look at my project, you can see that it's already configured and um, it's deploying to staging and production environments. So we can see that's here in environments and you can see I have a, product, a production and a staging environment. Now the, the pipeline that I have configured looks a little bit like this. And you can see I have different stages, build, test, deploy to staging, deploy to production, and lastly, production tests. We can also look at the merge request that I've done in this project. And the last one, um, you can see it was deployed to staging and also deployed to production. And we can see uh, the app itself. So we can see this is our staging environment. And this is our production environment. And now what I want to do is show how you can configure a view app environment to, to check your changes before it goes to staging. And then it will also uh, change one of the files and see what it looks like. So in order to configure this, we'll need to add a new job and environment to our gitlabs.ci YAML file. So let's open the, the file. And you can see here, um, we have the build website, we have some testing phases, deploy to staging, deploy to production, production tests, and that's basically it. So before I add the, before the production, the pre-production stage before staging, we're going to add a new job. So let's edit the file. And here before deploy staging, we're going to add deploy review. We're adding a deploy review stage. So we have the stage configured and we have the job configured, deploy review. And you'll notice that it goes only on branches. It works only on branches, which means that whenever I deploy to master, this job is not going to be initiated. But when I create a branch um, that's created through the merge request, it will be called on. And since this is a dynamic environment, we're going to use some predefined variables. So you can see here in the name, we have CI commit ref name. Um, and in the URL, we have our basic domain name and an additional predefined CI environment slug name. And we'll also notice for the actual deployment that we're also using um, the deployment to the domain name and again, CI environment slug. So this is really important to, to note it. And now we'll, we will commit our changes. And let's create, uh, added a review app stage. And we'll repeat this in the merge request and submit it. And we can see that the pipeline is already running. Um, if we peek at the pipeline, we'll see that we have a new stage. It's called deploy review. 
The other stages that we had for deploy staging and deploy production, the production tests are not here because those are defined only to use to work on master. And this is defined only to work on branches. So we'll wait for the pipeline to complete. While we're waiting for the pipeline to complete, I want to show you that if we go back to the merge request itself, we will see another change that says that this merge request branch will deploy to this name, which is going to be our URL for the review app. Okay, now that our pipeline has succeeded, we now have a review app. If we go back to the merge request, we can now see the button that says view app. And pressing it will bring us to a new environment. As you can see, the name is review patch um, and it's our new review app. Well, while this is our production, our pre-production pages. If we go back to our environments, we'll see that we now have a new environment. Uh, in addition to the staging and production that we had before, we had our new review patch. Okay, so from the merge request, when we saw the deployed review patch uh, environment, what we're gonna do is, since we're happy with the way it looks, we're gonna merge it first to master. Once it's merged to master, we can see the new pipeline that's running and it goes back to our um, deploying to production. We have now a new stage, build, test, deploy, review, deploy staging, deploy production and production tests. So uh, of course, this is our additional step. We're gonna go ahead and wait for the pipeline to complete. Now that the pipeline is passed and we now have a review app also in master, let's go ahead and make a change in a file and make sure that we can see this before it gets to production. So I'm gonna to go to the repository to file source pages index. We're gonna go ahead and edit it with a web ID. And you can see that the title of the page is this is a new title, which is what we saw here. And we'll change it to this is the best title ever, just so that we can visually see the change. And we're gonna go ahead and commit, which is gonna create a new merge request and that therefore it's gonna deploy it um, again to the review app. So change title and let's copy that here. and we submitted the merge request. And now again, we can see the pipeline is running and we can see that it's going to deploy now to a different URL, to another branch name. And let's open the pipeline and wait for it to complete again. Okay, so our pipeline is completed. Let's go back to the merge request. and click on view app. And we can see our new title has been changed. Um, if we go back to our production and refresh the website, you'll see it's still the old title, same goes for staging. And only after we actually um, merge the merge request into master, Um, so we'll take a look again at the pipeline and we'll see again all the different uh, stages and jobs. Only after this, we're going to see the change in pre-production first and then production. So um, let's go ahead and wait for the pipeline to complete. Okay, it's hit our staging environment. 
So let's see. Oh, good job. And now on the pipeline is just waiting for a manual interve intervention for deployment to production. And we'll wait for that. Okay, and now it's in production. So let's refresh. And you can see we got all the changes throughout the review apps, staging and production. Um, so as you can tell, this is a pretty neat feature. It's very valuable. You can get a lot of feedback before uh, deploying to your external sites, staging and production. Um, and I, I hope you found this helpful.